Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, like I said, um, I was actually going to do this yesterday right after I uploaded the uh, results of the giveaway, but I have the neighbor from hell and that is above me. He has a very large dog and these old homes that have been um, converted, there's no insulation between the apartments and uh, he has hardwood floors and uh, so you can hear everything and it sounds like a herd of elephants and and uh, they also sit there and try to get or teach the dog how to howl, you know, like woo 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 and of course the dog chimes in and uh, I don't know how that would translate into the video so uh, I just shut everything once he comes home that's it until you know like nine o'clock at night so I just shut everything down and now that the coast is clear I'm back again so what I had said was that I had I have some boho uh, items that I've made and that I uh, I'm going to be sending uh, a few of these to Patty and keeping the rest for myself and um, so I'm just going to share with you and then I have a, a few boho items so a small um, boho Etsy uh, haul that I'm going to share with you if you're interested so let's get with it um, let me move some of this aside and we'll just start with one at a time okay these two here are boho snippet rolls and what I have done is I've made them relatively flat as you can see they're you know or thin rather um, so that they're very easy to get into a journal and, and not add any bulk um, also making it easy to add two um, so I'm, I'll just kind of stretch these across get this one out of the way and you can kind of see what what I've done here to them and I thought they're kind of pretty and I just used uh, you know the boho trim that you buy they come in skeins and I've actually got some that I just purchased that I'll I'm going to show you at the end of this video here's the next one they're pretty much alike I use mostly the same stuff and um, tried to keep them as colorful as I possibly could and I use gold metallic thread which I do on all of my boho creations and you can see on the back these are just strips of uh, cotton maroon cotton fabric Okay, so there are those two. I'm going to keep one and send one off to Patty. Then I have um, a few little trims here that I made a while back. And I really need, I want to make some more, only maybe a little more colorful. And these, all I did was uh, stretch some, um, like, um, uh, yarn and different trims and stuff on some uh, frayed muslin and I just attach them with a little uh, um, zigzag stitch there's one and there's another one I hope these are focusing because I can't tell from here and another one This one and eventually I'll show you know I'll do a craft with me and make when I make some more of these which will be pretty soon because this is all I have left because I make journals um, pretty much blank journals and I sell them to the gift stores we have uh, hospital gift stores which we have two of here in Council Bluffs Iowa and um, I've tried to tell them I don't want to be doing too much of this anymore because I want to 
spend more of my time now making videos and and uh, videos for sale when I open my Etsy store. And um, they just keep ordering and ordering and ordering. Um, they sell really well. And all they are is just, you know, Midori style. Um, I make the covers and then um, inserts that they can buy extra of. And like I said, they just sell really well and they keep wanting um, me to make more and more. Okay, I only made three of these, and I had all these teeny little pieces of scraps left over. So I just had this um, sort of, it's an antique satin type fabric. It frays terrible. But I had a few pieces of that. These are the actual sizes of the pieces that I had. And then all these little tiny cut off pieces of um, the sari trim the lurex trim so i just went ahead and uh, placed the little pieces on first i um i used glue stick to you know attach them in place and just went over with my sewing machine and i did a straight stitch on these and here's another one so i don't even throw away the tiniest of pieces because i can do this with them and i love using these Okay, then I had some plain pieces of sari, little pieces, that I went ahead and put on. Uh, this is fabric I used um, on the boho journal I created for Patty. And I had some pieces of that. Well, actually, I've got a lot of big pieces. but um, So I just frayed the edges of that and sewed on those little pieces. And this one here... Um, are pieces of uh, kind of funky yarn and I just doubled it up and sewed them on and they too make uh, nice little pieces of trim okay so that's those and then I have this box of snippets and I have a bunch of them I might as well take them all out and I'll start with the smaller ones. And they're just paper scraps. So they're snippet scrappies is what I call them. Oops, where are we here? And again, little pieces of this um, Lurex Sari. And um, scrap pieces of paper. Here's another one. And some I zigzagged and some I went with straight stitch. It just, you know, depended on the fabric and the layout and whatnot. There's that one. Actually, that kind of goes like that. And here's another one. And I, I make um, paper clips with these. Um, just little pieces to throw in journals here and there. There's another one. And a little bigger one here. And I use anywhere from two to three pieces of paper and two to three, four, five pieces of fabric. Um, just depends on, you know, when I lay it down, if I'm happy enough with it. Um, like that. Here's this one. This one, this is the, where two pieces of sari come together. I always cut, I cut them off and then I iron the strips. And I always save the little pieces that join together and use them on something like this. And there is that. Get these upside down. And another one. This one I put a little piece of lace in. Here's another. And some more. And I start out with usually just... Um, plain paper like uh, notebook paper, graph paper, music paper. Um, I don't even use cardstock. I just use just scraps of paper. Some more. 
I really like this one. I don't know. It's the purple, I guess. It's one of my favorite colors. Here's a little larger one, longer one. And this one. Sometimes I'm starting to make my own digis. And you can kind of see this is a strip of uh, lace trim uh, that I uh, scanned. And this piece back here is just a scanned piece of my fabric. And I find that they make really nice uh, pieces for any collage work that I do. There's that one. And this one. And this piece here is actually Christmas ribbon. And it had uh, wire in the edges. I just pulled the wire out and I just think it's so pretty. Here's another one of my favorites. The colors, the, the magenta, the purple, and the green are just some of my favorite colors. Here's another one. And some Kool-Aid dyed paper. Let's see, there's another piece of that uh, scanned fabric that I have. And another one of the uh, lace trims that I scanned. And I'm going to have those available in my store as soon as I can get things up and running. I've been procrastinating on that, I know. And I do apologize for that. I just wasn't sure exactly in the beginning if that's what I wanted to do, but I am. I'm not going to go with a website. I'm actually going to have an Etsy store. Okay, and there's another one. Okay, that's those. And then this box here, I made a while back. I mean, I didn't make those in the last couple weeks or so. And these um, are sort of boho, but not necessarily. They can go, you know, either way. And um, I love paper that come out of tablets that have the, the holes punched, especially the square holes. I just love those. And I always save those and always use them. Here's one with a little uh, piece of sari there and some other trim and a little piece of doily. And here's a big one. And this is sort of boho because I've got the old bo picture of the old bohemian gypsy there. So that kind of lends itself to boho right off the bat. And the back of this one is actually the braille paper. And I am going to have braille paper in my shop and I'm actually going to be offering it free with orders because I have an overabundance of this stuff. Um, my mom had low vision. I have, oh, I would call it a library full of braille books and whatnot. Okay, some more little scrappies. There's that one. I'm going to go a little faster. This one. There, there, here's another uh, kind of piece of a doily that I scanned. This one. Another, in the background there, a piece of some fabric that I have. And if anybody's interested, let me know. I've got a nice array of different fabrics um, that can be used for boho or or not. Um, I've got all kinds actually. There's another piece of it, uh, snippet of that uh, doily, or one of them anyway. More of the fabric again. And this. Here's another uh, fabric strip that I scanned and these two pieces here this one and I think this one too are from TLC Creates they have the most amazing digitals and I just I, I just love what they have another one there's some lace this is really old lace that I found at my uh, thrift store. Here's another piece, and it is um, oh, 
Oh yeah, I did go over that. Um, it's really old, you can tell, and there's a couple spots here and there where it's a little bit stiff, like it had been attached to something. Um, and um, then I've got some stuff I found, and it looks like it's tubes of fabric that have been ruched together, like uh, you know the the uh, shower curtain rods, if you've ever seen them, where they've taken uh, fabric and ruched it up over to match the shower curtain. Well, that's what it looks like, and uh, but they're in the strips. Uh, really interesting, and I've been playing around with those as well. Okay, here's an another one, a little bit longer. This one is, um, again, with the background paper. I just love that look. And I like to, uh, I have, um, yeah, it's a punch. And I just like to uh, um, use my um, script stamp on those and then just go around with the pink um, distress ink and or, or other colors actually. Okay, and here's another one. This is just a plain piece of sari. This one's got a lot of everything in it. Um, decoupage paper, both of these are um, Deco Arts decoupage paper, some scrap paper, another scrap paper, same here, and I did that on a large, well, it looks like two pieces here, a piece of uh, line paper and the music paper, and then this one, which I think is gorgeous, it's just kind of neutral, and I love the lace over this uh, blue um, strip that I put on there, I just think it's very, very pretty. Kind of unassuming and then this one here this is actually a piece of that tubular stuff I took and ironed it then I sewed it down and then I cut the end so you end up with a double layer of the fabric which is kind of different okay so that takes care of all of my uh, boho snippets and whatnot that I've been working on now I'm going to show you some things I got. Um, this uh, little Etsy haul, if you will, of stuff that I got. And this first package is not uh, boho, but the rest of this stuff is. And so let's just move this aside. And this comes from JNS Keepsakes on Etsy. And she doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, but she had this pack of, I don't know, five or six doilies. And um, I will take and scan these. And um, like this one, I'll scan half. And then, um, then it's available all the time. I've even taken some of these items that I've scanned and then printed them on fabric. Oh, they come out great. Just really great. Okay, well, this one is a long, kind of an oval, ovalish type doily. Just lovely um, embroidery on that one. And then this, another oval, very delicate uh, crochet on there. I just think they're gorgeous. You can probably see that better if I just lay them out flat like that. Let me let me go back with this one again on the flat. And you can kind of see size-wise. I just think they're fabulous. And here's another one with the uh, crochet doily. So delicate. These are going to be gorgeous on the fronts of journals. That's what I liked about these. They are just the right size. And this one with the little birds. I love that bird. Very unique. And then the flowers on the side. And I don't care that they have these little um, marks on them. I can probably even get those out if I work at it. But I usually don't. I mean, I don't see any real good reason. And this one is so cute. Um, this is, um, there's a name for this. It's um, 
Battenberg, Battenberg lace. So pretty, just so pretty. And then this one here, this is a larger one. And bring this up a little closer. You can see the trim all the way around. Won't that be pretty uh, on the front of a journal like that? I mean, I can just, you can just see that. And then this one here, I don't know what this kind of uh, stuff is called. It's a little stained in the center, but I'm going to coffee dye it anyway. And it's more stained on this side. It's placemat. Pretty sure it's a small placemat, but just gorgeous. Too much for a journal, but um, as it is in one piece, but I'm thinking I can do something, I don't know, It'll take me a while. I'll probably have to look at it a few times before I can figure out what it is that I want to do with it. Okay, so there's that. And like I said, that is from J&S Keepsakes. And then we all know uh, Sheila Gingrich of Boho Daydreams. She made up this pack for me. And I haven't even looked inside yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And I love this fabric that she wrapped it in. I mean, did the bow. Isn't that pretty just itself? Wow. I'm going to do this so we can see this stuff a little bit better as I lay it out. You can see it. It's just so pretty. Okay, she sent all these little gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look at that. Is that just not amazing? Oh, wow. I've gotten boho pieces before, but not anything this nice. And then look at this one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This is way better than I had expected. And some silk here. Beautiful color. Oh my goodness. That is a gorgeous color. Fabulous. Look at the end there. You see that down there. Maybe I should uh, bring this a little closer in. That's about as good as I can go. Okay, with that. And then here's another piece of silk. Mmm, so pretty. The colors, you know, it just gets my mind, my brain flapping. <laughs> Look at this piece. Oh my goodness, that it's all wrapped up in. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, is that not gorgeous? Wow. And then attach this long strip here. I don't particularly like orange, but um, I'm certainly going to do something with this. Too pretty not to. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh boy. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and would you look at that? Wow. Wow. That's just out of this world. And of course, pink being my favorite color. That is so, so pretty. Goodness gracious. And then the turquoise. Wow. It's a leaf. Oh. With turquoise and copper. Those go together beautifully. And then this one. I cannot believe how beautiful 
these are. I wasn't expecting anything like this. You guys, if you are in the market for boho fabrics, believe me, this is the place to go. This whole pack was only like $32. And there is so much in here. I, I can't believe it. Next time, I'm going to go for the big one. Of course, you know, I live on Social Security. And uh, so I have to be careful of how I spend and what I spend. Oh, look at this. It's sewn together. I might just take that apart so I can utilize both uh, pieces there. But look at this. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Look, just look at that. I got some stringies here. Get rid of that. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that. My next boho journal is really going to be fabulous with all of this to work with. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, there's more than enough. There's more than enough for just one journal, that's for sure. Oh, and look at the variegated uh, or gradient, the kind of the, the golden, the yellow, the gold, and it goes into the oranges. Gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> These hang down. Oh, I see this kind of came loose. I might just take that off. In fact, I think I probably will since it's already loose. And it looks like there's just some uh, thread that kind of got caught up in there. And I can just take and snip this out. This one too, they're kind of making it crumple up here a little bit. And this piece too. I'm sure that's what's holding it all together and that's why it came apart. It sort of snagged. But that's okay because I am for sure going to take that apart. It's just because that way then I don't have to use it all with, you know, one piece of fabric. Oh, goodness gracious, look at that. Just look at that. Just imagine somebody making this stuff. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. <laughs> Ooh. You can tell I'm just overwhelmed with this. It's so beautiful, it makes me want to cry. Look at that. So sheer. And this. Ooh, this will make a gorgeous pocket. Oh, yeah, this is the right side. Can you see the pink flower in there? Isn't that pretty? But that is going to be, that will make a gorgeous little pocket. Ooh, look at this. Pink to match your eyes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love this. I just love this. Oh, too much. Too, too much. Oh my lord, look at the size of this piece. Oh, you can tell this came out of the front of something, and there's the, there's, you can tell the pattern of it. Um, there's the, the neck part, and this is the arm part. I used to sew, so I recognize that. I used to do tailoring, actually. 
You wouldn't know it. The quality of my sewing on paper, I think, is harder than sewing on fabric by far. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, oh. look at this one. Look at, just look at that. Is that just out of this world or what? Can you see that one there in the middle? Isn't that beautiful? Some of this stuff, I mean, to, to cut into it is just going to be, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, and here's another um, beautiful fabric that'll make a gorgeous pocket or two. <laughs> At least two. Oh, look at that. It's just, like I said, this is just, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. So pretty. Oh, and this. Oh, wow. Can you see all of that? Is this just not amazing? I mean, these things are like works of art. Look at that one. And then this one. I know they kind of look like, like the thread work was done to look like a, a swish of uh, paint. So pretty. And look at this. Ooh, this is like crochet. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Oh, see, I don't know which side is. Oh, that's the back side, I think. And this is the front side, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. It's like two different kinds of fabric sort of you know because you got this design and then you have the border design oh my goodness and more look at the colors on that like a Christmas tree it reminds me of you know the lights the all the different colored lights on a Christmas tree I haven't used the, I always go for the clear because I kind of do color you know, specific on my tree, and so I go for just the crystal clear. But this reminds me of that, all the colors on the lights, the multi-strand lights. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, and look at this. Oh, I thought they were gems, but they're these little, just these little flat. Oh, sequins, tiny little sequins and glitter and see that there? Wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And green is another one of my favorite colors. So sheer. Look at that. Is that just not gorgeous? I love sheer fabrics. Oh my goodness, it just goes on and on and on. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. You just wonder, no, it's not an applique. Somebody actually sewed that right onto the fabric. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, to cut into some of this stuff is going to be like pulling teeth for me. Ooh, Ooh look at this one here. It's this baby blue and all this gold. Tiny gold sequins, tiny, tiny ones, and they're just woven in there. So, so pretty. 
My goodness. And this one here, look at this. Oops. Wow. Again, teeny tiny sequins. I've never seen anything like what she sent me. Thank you, Sheila. You have no idea how I just love this. And here's another piece. Similar, but not. Beautiful color. And it's got, again, like sort of a turquoise with the copper. Those colors, those two colors go together so well. And then this is like satiny silk. Beautiful. Look at that color. Wow. That's a beautiful blue. Oh my goodness. Can you believe she sent me all of this stuff? I am, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I don't know what to say. It's so beautiful. Just absolutely beyond my expectations by far. Okay, now the next thing I got was I had ordered from, and it is a Victorian Gypsy Girl. And I had ordered just one. And when it came, this isn't the original one. Uh, it wasn't the bright colors. It was very dark. It wasn't like what I thought was in the picture. So I wrote and told her, you know, I would like to exchange it. And she then said, oh, fine, not a problem. And she then, when she sent what this, and this is the um, what was in the picture that I ordered, she sent two of them. Two of them. Can you believe it? Are they just not the most beautiful colors? This one, all the pinks. This is my favorite colors. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I am going to send this one to Patty along with the rest of her stuff. I don't think she has any of this. And she's getting ready to do a, or she's already started with a boho journal. So this will just help her out some. So, that is it, and I'm going to be coming back next with a craft with me, and it's going to be uh, the bag, how to make the bag, and um, it's, it'll be a craft with me. So, if you are interested in um, actually crafting along with me, um, the paper that I used came on a roll, and it's easel, easel paper, and I found some on Amazon. There's several different ones. Just type in easel paper, and um, you get it by the roll. I think I got two rolls for, I don't know, it wasn't real expensive, so I have enough to last me for a very long, long time. Then, what I do is I take and I coffee diver, and I'm trying to see if I have any right here in front of me. Um, okay, I've got some here. And um, I've taken my coffee diet. I usually leave it in long pieces, but I've cut these up for something else I'm going to do. But I take I just, the size, the width, or the length of the shelf in my oven um, is how long I will cut them. And then I take my bucket and I just kind of dip the paper in, dip it out, and then lay it on parchment paper and put it in the oven and cook it. And this is how it came out. So, and I, sometimes, uh, well, I just started recently uh, with my coffee dyeing is brushing it on. Um, not as messy and since I only have to worry about one side actually for for this process I'm going to do that it'll make uh, uh, coffee dyeing this paper much much easier as you can tell it, it's you know it comes out thankfully all by itself and then you're also going to need some coffee dyed 
parchment paper. So if you coffee dye paper and you leave the parchment, you know, if you use parchment to put it on when you bake it in the oven, I don't use um, cookie sheets. I just use the parchment paper. And I use a piece of parchment paper over and over and over until I feel that it's getting, you know, the right color that I want it, which is about, you know, this color too. So you'll need some of that, if you're, like I said, if you're going to craft with me. And um, then um, Mod Pod, well, no, please don't use Mod Pod. Um, I'm sorry to say that, but it's not the best. What I use is this decoupage by Americana or uh, uh, Deco Arts. You can see that there. This is the antique. That This is what I had uh, given the remainder of to Patty. Um, and what it is, is, here, hold this down. It is colored. You can see it in here. Well, I actually added more color to mine because I like it a little deeper. Um, you know, I added the, some of the Distress Ink Refill, which is um, these. This is the vintage photo. I just put a couple drops in there and mix it up real good and make, made it a little darker because I wanted it. But for this, um, if the coffee dye is rich like this, I don't, I, I'll just use the regular, the matte, by deco, the decoupage matte. But um, if it's not dark enough, like I've got some here, I've got it cut up. Actually, I've got some here cut four bags to make some bags with. They've already cut them into size. Um, because that's what I do, fold them up this way, so, so. And um, anyway, then I will use the, the, uh, the other one to make it darker. Okay, so then, after you have the, uh, all of that, then you will need um, stamps of your choice, and you'll want to use permanent ink on those, and anything you want to decorate the front of your bag with. Um, I don't have the one here that was um, from the gift, from the giveaway. Um, yeah, I do. Hold on. And I'm just getting ready to bag it up. Um, because I did a script stamp. And because this was in the garden and it has a bee on the front, I used the, um, the uh, honeycomb stamp. And you know, whatever uh, thread you want. And you do need a sewing machine if you want it to look like this. I suppose you could just glue it. Um... I don't know how well that would hold up. And I uh, do the decoupage after I've sewn it so that I sew, I'm actually decoupaging over the stitches. And then you can see how it's lined in here with the parchment paper. And uh, I'll, I'll show you about, there's a trick to that and I'll show you about that. And then, uh, other than, you know, whatever it is that you think you want to decorate it and do dad it up with. Some pieces of fabric and, you know, some um, die cuts some um, pretty paper. I've got uh, music paper behind there. Um, and I used two different colors of stamps. I used a brown and then I used the black stays on. So that's pretty much it for um, that craft with me, and that'll be uh, what I'm actually going to do next. And uh, very possibly I'll even, well, I don't know, I've got my apartment manager coming tomorrow and I don't want to get interrupted. Thursday I won't be home, so I'll try and do it on Friday, and then uh, if I can do it early enough and it doesn't take too long, I can get it downloaded. So look for that on Friday or Saturday. So. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for your interest. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, I hope you will because I am having ongoing um, giveaways. I've already, uh, the other 
the next giveaway is already in the works and um, it's going to, I will be announcing that quite soon and it's going to run for a while because I, I want to have, you know, X amount of people uh, comment and uh, whatnot for the video. So, okay guys, so that's it for today. And my little Sadie here is trying to get my attention so she needs something from me. So, uh, toodles for now and I will see you all later. Bye.